This is what happened in year four. Or that is what I want you to think. Hi there, my name is Peter Grunewald. This is No Year Zero and here we are going to try and cover each year from the start of the Common Era. Yes, we are going to cover history year by year starting from year one of the Common Era or CE. If you missed the first episode, please click somewhere here. I am sure YouTube will put it here. Now, this is year four of the Common Era. There are still three main powers on Earth. Roman Empire, Parthian Empire, and the Western Han Dynasty. Yes, there were other civilizations as you can see on this globe, but that is a topic for another video. If you'd like to know more of each of the civilizations on this globe, please find a link for that civilization below. We have a lot to cover in this episode, so let's get started. Here we will cover the people who were born of note in year 4. Columella, or his full name, Lucius Junius Moderatus Columella, was a Roman Latin writer on agriculture, with 12 volumes on farming in Roman times. Although not regarded as great works of agricultural literature, they have given great insight to the time period's method on farming for modern scholars. Demusen, a future Korean king of Gogerio, is born. He is noteworthy for expanding the territory of Gogerio at a young age. More on him on a future episode. And for the people who have paid attention, this is the year that Jesus of Nazareth was born according to scholars, or maybe for BCE. Go watch year one for a brief topic covering him. Here we will cover the events in year four. Well, events that we can place in this year, that is. Gaius Caesar dies a Roman general. This death had a few ripples in Rome. Gaius Antitius Ventus becomes proconsul of Asia after Gaius's death, assisted by his son of the same name. Emperor Augustus named Tiberius his heir and future emperor. This is only after he found out of Gaius Caesar's death. Gaius Caesar was the last surviving brother of Agrippa Postumus, who is also adopted by Emperor Augustus, and is also named one of Augustus' heirs. Then, a Germanic tribe called the Cherusi signed a pact of non-aggression with the Roman Empire, also bringing sons of King Segemir of the Cherusi into the army of the Romans as auxiliary troops. Now, Rome is famous for having a diverse army from every corner of the empire. This is just an example of how it became so diverse. Now, remember, king of, uh, remember the king of Parthia that Gaius Caesar made peace with two years ago? Yes, King Ferratus V. Some sources has him killed with his co-ruler, his mother. Others say they fled to Rome, where they were welcomed by Emperor Augustus. Whatever happened, the Parthian nobility installed a new king on the throne, Orodus III of Parthia. He is installed as the new king of kings. Don't worry about any information about him, he is not going to last long. Namea Tachaum succeeds Bak Yakose, his father, as king of the Korean kingdom of Shila. This is not a certain date, but a traditional date accepted for this event. Namea Chachaum is the second king of Shila. 
His reign was marked by invasion of his kingdom. Emperor Ping of the Western Han Dynasty, only aged 12 or 13 at this time, marries Empress Wang, daughter of Huang Meng. Yes, that guy. Wang Meng secures his power more and more. He even gives himself the title of Superior Duke of the Western Han Empire. Dynasty? Nicholas of Damascus, a Jewish historian, writes his latest collection of books, the 15 volume History of the World. Here we will look at the people who passed away in year 4, with a few previously mentioned. Gaius Caesar, who we have covered in the past few years, dies as previously mentioned. He succumbs to a wound he got in an ambush a few years back. A wound that did not seem to heal and eventually kill him. He accomplished a lot in his short life. He was even the next in line to become Emperor of Rome. June 26. Aro Barzains II, the king of Armenia, a Roman client kingdom at this time, was installed king by the previously mentioned Gaius Caesar only two years earlier. Yakose, Korean king of Shilla, dies after reigning for more than 60 years, founding the kingdom of Shilla in that time. He is revered in Korean history. Ferratus V, as previously mentioned, died. He was only emperor of Parthia for three or so years, succeeded by Orodus III. We can't really find any information on him after this time period. He, so we placed his supposed death year at the end of his reign. So that is year four. If we forgot anyone, any births, any events, please remind us in the comments below. If you want to hear more of Gaius Caesar's short-lived career, comment down below. We might make a video on him and that career of his. So please subscribe. We are going to try and cover every year after this one as best as we can. Somewhere on screen, you will see the latest videos we have done. So please, there it's somewhere on screen. Now, thank you for watching and please come back next year.